Hi friends! Today we're going to go over my bullet journal for the month of January. If you have been following me on this new bullet journal journey, I have been using this purple wave pattern from Amanda Rach Lee for the past three months. I have decided to switch into a new planner for next year. A, because I want to keep my years together in, in a way. I, I believe I'm going to get about six months worth out of these. I've used about half of this one, um, so I've got about another half to go. So I could theoretically do another three months in this, but I would prefer to do like the first six months in one book and the second six months in another book. Also, this one's starting to get a lot of wear on the edges and on the back of it. Probably can't tell in the video, um, but there's some, some really harsh wear on the edges and on these spines um, just from where I carry it every day. And so I am kind of concerned that I'm going to uh, maybe start losing pages. So what I will be doing with the second half of this, because it is the same spacing as Archer and Olive, which is what the rest of my journals are, um, I'm going to use the back half of this for like uh, research and development so I can do practice um, layouts and things like that. So I will be using the back half of this, but it just won't be for my daily journal. So what I will be using for my daily journal is this beautiful uh, Archer and Olive with a witch's hat. It's purple, kind of a maroony color. We'll go through like the new journal bits and the January parts. Nameplate page, I kept pretty simple this time. I legitimately just put my name in there. That's it. For our first page, I have a year at a glance that is taped in. So when I move to the next journal, I can move that with me. That just basically has the calendar days on there for me so I can have a reference when making plans. If you were not here for my 2023 bullet journal setup, I will link that in the description box down below for you. But essentially my word of the year for 2023 is progress. And so I got this quote um, that has to do with progress that I thought worked really well. And it is progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. Uh, and that's by George Bernard Shaw. I don't know if he's a good human or not. I didn't look him up. He could be an absolute POS. I don't know. Um, but I liked the quote. So there we go. I then have a future log, which is essentially just where I wrote out the months and the days of that month so that I can write things in. Um, I put in some little stickers that kind of like go with the, what that month is themed on. Yeah. Uh, all the way through December so I can continue to make plans even though I only intend to have the first six months of the year in this notebook. In June I may be planning things for December and I may want to have a place to write it down. So then we get to my January page. These little people, those are stickers from Happy Planner. I obviously did not draw those. Um, I have a AM and PM habit tracker and my January, I used some blackout pages from my uh, Neapolitan notebook. Uh, you can probably, well, you probably can't tell, maybe a little bit here. So there's black tape on this, this side over here. Because my original plan was to like have this page all white, to have this cool cutout and have it flip open and have these two on the back side and just have like a cool flip page and use it a tip in which is basically you washi tape it in but I could not get the washi tape to stick to to save my life I have been struggling with washi tape lately I can't get it to stick to anything it just peels right up like I'm surprised that this is still on because this is the same tape anytime I try to do a tip in it just is a hot mess so my response to that was to be fickle and um I had already made it so like the back of this looks like this <laughs> and it just wouldn't stay in so I finally just taped it on there made a new side for over here called it a day and then we have our January calendar um, with some more decorations I've got New Year's Day on here nothing else at this point um, but you know it's cold outside because it is. In January, I will be doing Januarimo, which is NaNoWriMo, but in January. Uh, so I'll be trying to get 50,000 words. What we're going to ignore is the fact that I continuously forgot that there were 31 days in January as I was doing this setup. 
So um, my numbers for Janie Rimo, my goal is 50,000 words. My project is The Anku's Curse. My tasks are 30 days of writing. Again, 31 days in January, but whatever. Um, change cheer and football to theater, add in all the spooky, and change Emma's last name. Those are my tasks. Uh, I put in a tracker to write how many days I've written. This I consciously decided to do 30 because I didn't like the way that 31 was going to look. And I was like, I can have a day off. Sure. Um, so days one through 30, how many days I've written. I did a daily word count. So for 30 days, not 31, but 30 days, I can write down my word count for each day. And then my word meter over here. Uh, the first one was only 500 words because that's the only way you can divide it out evenly. Don't come at me. And then each line is 1500 words after that. So I can just color in whenever I hit a point up the meter. I then have my January reading. Um, I have a spot for new releases, for any arcs for February that I need to read, my book haul, my TBR, any books read, and then my favorites of the month. I do have some reading challenges that I need to work in as well, but I'll do that in my TBR and try to figure that fun stuff out. We then get to our weeklies. Uh, we only have four this month, so I tried this new style. I told you guys I was going to try something new and not do any. No Dutch doors this month. Everything is a like full page. Um, just wanted to try something different. So I have my Monday through Sunday with a note spot, and then this I just put a sticker on because I made an extra box and didn't need it. Uh, so I put a sticker over it and then a to film, a to edit, tasks and admin. And then this I brought back from last month that I really enjoyed this layout, even though it was cut here because it was, because it did have the Dutch door before. Um, but I really like this Monday through Sunday and then tasks to film, to edit and admin. And then I just repeated those two in that same order. Uh, this time I did Monday through Sunday with the notes and then actually remembered not to put in that top box. Uh, you can probably see the pencil lines because I absolutely drew it in and then was like, girl, don't do it again. Uh, tasks admin to edit to film. And then our final week and the final page of this planner is Monday through Sunday, tasks to film, to edit, admin, with some pretty snowflake designs on the side and that is it for January. That is all I have for today. Let me know in the comments below if there was anything particular that you liked about this that you would like to see again. If there's any journal or bullet journaling things that you would like to know or to see in the future, let me know that down below as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.